You sure slept well, all rested up from the move. It's about time you got going, you worthless piece of shit. Why are you sleeping in the middle of the fucking day? Go get a fucking Pokemon. Go get the fuck out of my house. I am your mother and I want you to be gone so I can fuck Professor Sycamore because he's a hot piece of ass. Here's a picture of him looking really sexy. Seriously, Professor Sycamore is the most sexy Pokemon professor. Don't at me. Thinking you and I look good tonight. If you're looking for some company, let me know and smile. Hey everybody, King Corfish here and welcome to a brand new solo series here on the channel. I bet this is a little bit, just a little bit of a surprise to you guys, but welcome everybody to my Pokemon X Wonderlock. We've never done a Wonderlock here on the channel. We've never done a 6th gen playthrough here on the channel. I'm not going to lie. I'm really, really, really hyped for this project. And if you're hyped for this project as well, you should hit that like button. If we hit a thousand likes, I'm going to be a happy Ryan, but not going to lie. I don't even know if we're going to hit a thousand likes, but let's at least shoot for it. Okay. That'll be our goal. Okay. Cool. If we don't hit it, it is what it is, but let's actually go for it. With all that being said, though, this is a part one, so I'm kind of wondering, maybe there's some new people watching right now, or if not, maybe there's just whatever. I'm going to introduce myself, nonetheless. Hi, my name's Ryan. Okay, nice to meet you. Also known as King Corfish on the internet, but particularly Ryan, okay? Over here on my channel, we play a lot of Pokemon. We play a lot of Nintendo and a lot of just... Other shit. Honestly, this is the biggest variety channel you could probably find on YouTube. Not true, but <laughs> we do a lot of fun stuff here on the channel. If you're interested, make sure you subscribe because I would really, really, really appreciate it, okay? Besides that, I'm loud, stupid. We like to have a really fun time. This is the very first video, at least the first video in a while that I've recorded wearing my glasses. So I feel like there's probably going to be people in the comments who are like, holy fuck, Ryan has glasses. By the way, I'm not totally PG, so just gonna let, make sure you're all aware of that. Not totally PG. <laughs> Sorry, Dylan. <laughs> and then also on top of that, you know, I have some incredible friends on YouTube as well that we all make content together. We are just one big integrated friend group, okay? So there's me, Not A Gamer, Asher Mandy Videos, Original 151 Decatur. We're all just one really good core group of best friends here on YouTube that we all love to do things together. So, yeah. Check out my best friends as well. I don't know why I just decided to shut them out into the intro of my project, but whatever, okay? We are playing Pokemon X. I am excited to play Pokemon X. I have not played Pokemon X, like, ever. The one and only time I've ever played through Pokemon X specifically was for my sleep block that I did almost two years ago, or about a year and a half ago now. Which is ridiculous to think about because I, I remember it like it was yesterday, all right? That was like my senior year of high school. It is very, very vivid in my head. But holy crap, it's been a long ass time since I played the Kylos, clearly. Uh, besides that, Pokemon Y was my childhood Pokemon game. My camera didn't really focus on it, but whatever. This, this is my childhood copy of Pokemon Y right here. Uh, I always played Y growing up, so I decided to give X a shot. Just because it's something new, it's something different, something fresh. So let's actually hop into this game. Let's maybe there's some differences that I don't know about. I don't know. With that being said, though, I don't know what kind of voice to give Professor Sycamore. I do not even want to try. I don't even want to attempt to give a French accent or a French voice or a French impersonation because I will probably fuck it up. To be honest, I will probably fuck it up. But I am Augustine Sycamore, the Kalos region's very own Pokemon professor. Gosh, I remember when this game was brand new. I remember when this game was brand new. I was 12 years old and I was in eighth grade when this game first came out, October 2013. October 12th, 2013. Go, go, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to tell stories, okay? By the way, in, in on my channel, we're not hugely, shut the fuck up. We're not hugely invested into the game, all right? The gameplay is probably like the least amount of, fuck you, stop interrupting me. It's probably the, one of the least focuses that we have here on the channel. I just love to talk, hang out with you guys. Fine, I'll keep playing the fucking game. <laughs> but basically, I just love to talk to you guys. Think of it almost like it's just a 30-minute podcast. Also, I should probably go ahead and say the schedule for this series because the series is going to be on a schedule. Knock on wood, I don't miss any episodes, but everything's up in the air. If I miss an episode, obviously make sure you follow me on Twitter. Uh, and Snapchat the community post, all that fun stuff, right? Uh, make, make sure that you just, 
I'm sure you already know the drill. All right, links in the description, links on the layout, all of that fun stuff. But the schedule for the series is going to be Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. All right, did you guys get that? Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday is the schedule for the series. So you're going to be getting four episodes of the Book 1X Wonderlock per week. Hopefully, I'll be able to actually uh, pull that off. All right, again... If I miss any sort of episodes or if there's any sort of updates, make sure you follow me on the socials so then you're clearly aware of what's going on and whatever the circumstance may be for that specific day's episode. However, with that being said, my Pokemon Platinum project, that was my last, uh, not my last solo series, I've had one more since then, but one of my most recent solo series, we didn't miss any episodes of that, and that series was daily, so I'm pretty convinced i'm actually i actually think that we could pull it off not missing a single episode of the series i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna try my absolute best to bring you guys consistent projects and not miss any episodes we should probably hop into the game though we've been recording now for five minutes and i haven't even made it through one dialogue text all right this world of ours is widely inhabited by creatures known as pokemon look at that painting ah these mysterious creatures can be found in every corner of our world some run across the plains, others fly through the oceans, the skies, and yeah, I messed up the dialogue, it's fine. We live together with these Pokemon, lending our strength to one another to live and prosper. Let's get started with some quick questions. Are you a boy or are you a girl? The age-old classic question when it comes to Pokemon games. Are you a boy or a girl? Boy. <laughs> I had to check. I had to check now. All right, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I, I probably look the most like that center character right there. I probably look the most like that center character right there. But whenever it comes to games where you get to choose and customize a character, I really like picking the blonde hair. I don't know what it is, but I just think blonde hair is really dope. So shout out to anybody who has blonde hair. If you have blonde hair, I want you to tweet to me a picture of you with your blonde hair. Take a selfie and just send it to me at King Corfish. Cool? Cool. There you go. There's your little Twitter challenge of the day, my dudes. Oh, I see. Would you tell me your name? My name's Ryan. All right. Just, just in case you didn't actually know this. I forgot my stylus in Michigan. Fun facts, I'm from the Detroit, Michigan area, but I just recently moved to Atlanta because uh, now I'm living in a house with Nathan. I'm living in the same subdivision as Dylan and Frank, aka Astromania Videos, is about to move into the house as well. So we have a YouTube house going on now, which is super exciting. It's my first solo project from the YouTube house. It's insanely exciting, being a completely independent person living on his own. Uh, so that's just wild. <sighs> But I managed to forget my stylus in Michigan. So, we're going to be rocking out with just using the, the, the buttons, all right? Cool. I don't know how the hell we're going to manage to do that. This is already annoying, and I already hate it, all right? Not going to lie, I'm probably in between episodes or something. God, I hate this. In between episodes or something, I'm probably going to go to GameStop and buy a stylus or, or go to Dollar General and buy a fucking pencil. I don't know, all right? But I... I don't really like using the keypads. So, it's Ryan. Did I get that right? Yeah, it's Ryan. Look at my character. He just did a... <laughs> also, by the way, shout out to my boy Nathan. He made the layout. Shout out to Chespin Jr. He made the artwork for this series. He made the logo. He made the background. All right. Those two are very talented graphic designers. And also, shout out to the intro theme song of this Pokemon X Wonderlock. It's called Smiles by a band called Paddlebots, which if you don't know who they are, I would not be surprised. They're not a very popular band. But... The band is actually from Central Michigan, which is the college that I went to. So, fun facts. There you go. <laughs> it's a really, really catchy song. I'll have a link to it down in the description if you want to check it out, as well as their whole album. All their music is really lit. I listen to it all the time. Not even going to lie. <laughs> like, okay, my best friend Keyshawn. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know who Keyshawn is. If you're new to the channel, then Keyshawn's my best friend. There you go. That's all you got to know. Uh, <laughs> uh, he also made a song called Ham and Cheese. Now available on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, and, and all other digital retailers. Also, Milk and Cookies, the modern day Christmas classic. Also available on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Apple Music, and all other digital retailers. Anyways, Keyshawn, okay? Uh, when I lived in the dorm with him, he showed me paddle bots. And I was like, holy crap, this band is so jazzy. It's so funky. It's so upbeat. This is just the definition of good vibes. I really want to make an intro out of one of their songs, and I finally did it. I finally made a song. I finally made an intro off of their song. It's a really, really lit intro, and what I love about the intro, too, is that it's so different, and it, it really sets itself apart from other intros that are in our little friend group, our little community that we built up. It, it's really going to make the series stand out, I think. I'm really excited about it. Ryan Trace Bien! What a fantastic name! I think Sycamore's starting to get mad at me because I'm just... 
not paying attention. Go meet Pokemon. Get the fuck out of here. Okay? Go. Go out the door and actually play the damn game and stop talking about the battle bots, okay? Oh, man. Gosh, okay. When this game first came out when I was 12 years old, I remember watching this intro and my jaw was dropped at the Fletchling. Like, this in this cutscene right here, this opening cutscene is actually dope as hell. It was made beautifully and... Going for that dick! Ah! I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know what the hell that was, but oh my god, we're in our bedroom! Holy shit, look at that! Woo, there's a Wii U! That's so cool! Oh my god, god it's been so long since I've played this game that... that I'm probably going to be very confused on where to go. I'm definitely going to need you guys to help me out in the comment section throughout this playthrough. Heike. Heike. And I just changed out of my pajamas. Holy shit. That's a mood right there. All right. Also, by the way, uh, I kind of never really went over the rules of what a Nuzlocke is or a Wedlock or anything. Or a Wonderlock. Sorry, not a Wedlock. That was my last solo project. But, all right. A Wonderlock. It's the same rules of your standard Nuzlocke, except every single encounter that I get I have to wonder trade it out for something, which means this series actually has potential viewer interaction, all right? Every single time that I'm going to wonder trade an encounter, I'm going to actually tweet out, yo, I'm wonder trading, hop on, try to send me something, and maybe if a viewer could actually send me something dope, that'd be so cool. And make sure you also tweet out if you get a Pokemon from me, my owner, uh, my OT in this game is Ryan. You just watched me make my character. So it'd be really cool if we can actually get you guys involved on this project. You could send me Pokemon. You can send me encounters and stuff. It would be really, really, really cool. I'd appreciate it a lot. With that being said, I'm actually going to be bulk recording the first couple episodes of this series so that I can make sure that I stay consistent because uh, my best friend Frank, aka Astro Mania Videos, and my girlfriend Skylar, aka Skylar, ha happy birthday, Skylar. Uh, they're actually coming to Atlanta. The day that I'm recording this is Tuesday, March 5th. They're coming Friday, March 8th. I have three days to bulk record six episodes of this series to make sure that it's consistent while they're here and I'm not going to have to record while they're here or edit while they're here or anything crazy like that. I am really, really, really excited for them to come here because they are some of my best friends and I'm just, I love spending time with them and I don't want to have to work or be glued to my desk or glued to my computer while they're here so uh the first couple episodes of this series is about to be bulk recorded but starting at episode seven or so is when i'm going to start opening up the wonder trades to all of you guys and we can get some awesome viewer interaction going on on this project morning ryan you sure slept well all rested up from the move it's about time you got going you worthless piece of shit why are you sleeping in the middle of the fucking day? Go get a fucking Pokemon! Go get the fuck out of my house! I am your mother, and I want you to be gone so I can fuck Professor Sycamore because he's a hot piece of ass! Here's a picture of him looking really sexy! Seriously! Professor Sycamore is the most sexy Pokemon professor! Don't at me! Where the hell did that come from? Where the hell did that come from? Holy shit. I just, wow. <laughs> I just had a lot of energy right there. Okay, clearly, all right, I just have a lot of pent up passion and emotion for Professor Sycamore. He's the hottest Pokemon professor though. Like, let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. You can't even disagree with me on that one. Question of the day. Who is the hottest Pokemon professor? Since I've been talking about the paddle bots throughout this episode, I was about to actually ask in the question of the day, what kind of music do you listen to? But no, fuck it. What is the hottest Pokemon professor in your opinion? I'm going to make sure I type that one out. Uh, who is the hottest Pokemon professor? Awesome. All right. We're going to actually make that the question of the day. Make sure you answer it. I want my entire comment section for one to answer the comment question of the day and for two to be like, what the? <laughs> Why don't you step out and say hello to the neighbors? They're literally waiting outside of our house right now when you were sleeping all fucking day, you lazy piece of shit. Get out of bed and do something with your life. God, look at it. It is nighttime in Pokemon X right now. Why is it nighttime? I don't know. If my 3DS clock is set wrong, I'm going to be sad, and that's going to destroy my OCD. It's going to destroy my OCD. I don't know if you guys just heard it or not, but my phone just vibrated on my desk. It's really, really loud when it vibrates on my desk. So it was my boy, Tony. If you don't know who Tony is, he was on the drum line with me in high school, which, fun facts, drum line something that I really love to do. So there we go. You're learning new facts about me if you're new to the channel. But, Tony, I'm sorry, but I'm going to not answer you because I'm the 
middle of recording the Pokemon X Wonder Lock, and I just threw my phone, and it actually just hit against something hard. If it cracked, I'm gonna be sad, but we're gonna figure that out later. Okay, welcome to Vanaville Town. My name's Serena, and I'm your neighbor, and I'm Shauna. Glad to meet you. Both these characters are really annoying. Actually, Serena's not terrible, but Shauna's annoying. Shauna's annoying, if I remember correctly. See, I may have not played this game in a hot minute, but I do watch... Asteroids, Pokemon Y, Randomizer, Egglock, like, a lot, because it's a really, really, really good series, and you guys should definitely check it out. And shout out to my boy Astromania videos, he's so good. By the way, me and Frank just started a brand new co-op. We started Black 2, White 2 co-op literally the other day. You guys should definitely go check it out, definitely go peep it, because I'm really, really proud of it. We already bulk recorded the first three episodes of that series. The next episode is going to be up on Frank's channel on Sunday, all right? Make sure you go check it out. It's so good. It's such a good series. The intro animation is so good lit and oh god it's so great make sure you check it out anyways guess what we've come to get you the esteemed professor sycamore is esteemed a synonym for hot because i sure hope it is because professor sycamore is hot lives here in the kalos region i was told he has a request for us five kids including us I just said the word us twice on accident. It's fine. I'm a Pokemon Master. T-shirt's now available. But I'm a little surprised he knows who you are. You did just move to Vanable Town after. It's because Sycamore's trying to dick down my mom. Let's be real here, all right? My mom's thick. S Professor Sycamore's thicker. We'll wait for you in the next town over. And you know what? We're going to get a Pokemon. Yeah, no, I'm about to choose my starter and then just be like... Peace out, bitch. I'm about to wonder trade your ass away. Come on, hurry. Let's go. Yeah, no, literally. They're hyping up these starters. I'm not even going to, like, I guess I'll pick one. But I'm just about to wonder trade it away. I'm not even going to get to use my starter. So anyways, yeah, no. As far as the rules of a uh, Wonderlock. Basically, oh no, my 3DS system battery is low. I should actually plug it in because surprise, surprise, motherfuckers. You can already tell, but this is an hour of power. I like doing hour powers for episode ones. Uh, but also, that's something else I should probably be talking about in this series. Every episode is going to be roughly 30 minutes or so. 30, 40 minutes. That's what I'm aiming for. Uh, but yeah, no, this episode in particularly is going to be an hour of power because I really love hour of powers. And also, my 3DS is literally blinking red right now. I don't know if my camera can like clearly see it, but yeah, no, it's clear. It is blinking red. All right, my 3DS is not liking this right now. He needs some power. Luckily, I do actually have my charging cord right here and oh god it's all tangled up in my audio mixer there we go cool all right you know if i were a professional youtuber i'd cut all of this out but fuck it all right we're just gonna leave this all in all right no cuts no cuts all right i don't have anything to hide okay i like to call myself a pretty transparent content creator okay i'm going to show you guys that i am a real person just like you i put my pants on two feet at a time just like you okay and, and i also have a 3ds that needs to be plugged in when it's low on battery. Aha! What's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, Ryan, this way, over here! Yo, bet! T-shirt's no longer available. Where you are? Okay, there we go. There you are. We were just talking about you. They're probably just like... <laughs> they were probably passing around secrets. They were probably actually shit-talking and gossiping right now. Be like, you know that Ryan kid? The one who just moved into the town? Yeah, she's gonna... Dick down Professor Sycamore. I don't know if that's gross or not, but honestly, Professor Sycamore is really hot. Come on, have a seat! Look, I'm just saying, Professor Sycamore is really hot. <laughs> I need to shut up. <laughs> I need to shut up. This is the meeting place, Ryan. Here, let me introduce you. Everyone, this is Ryan. His mom's gonna dick down Professor Sycamore. Wow, Shauna's description was spot on as of why... Tierno saying that the description of me is spot on. I don't know. He hasn't even met me. Literally, he, I'm not even giving him the respect to look him in the eyes. I'm literally staring right now at the, the orange haired kid, the one who's not Tierno. I can't remember his name at all. But I'm literally not even respecting this man. Tierno is annoying as hell, but his ace is a corfish, so I can't hate on him too much. So, Ryan, this is, you know, he's got some serious dance moves, and that is literally his only character trait. And this is Trevor. He misses a single question on his tat. They're annoying characters. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. Both of these guys are annoying characters. The entire friend group of this game. No, we literally just met. Why are you trying to give me a nickname? This is weird. 
All of you guys. None of them have nicknames. Why all of a sudden am I just showing up in this friend group and they're just like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. Nickname! To be fair, I guess technically that's actually what happens when you catch a Pokemon. All right, if I just see a wild Pikachu in the wild and I catch it with a fucking Pokeball, I'm just like, cool, your name's bitch ass now. Deal with it. I'm your trainer and I can just call you whatever I want because that's how it works. I enslaved you with my Pokeball. This means that you are mine and your name will forever be bitch ass. I'm going to make that my nickname, all right? Not going to lie. I was kind of brainstorming. I wonder what I should make my nickname before I start recording this episode. And I don't know why, but I'm just going to call myself bitch ass, all right? <laughs> this literally just came up now. Literally just now. There you go. Bitch ass. I can't enter that word. Mother fucker. No, I'm sad. No, I'm actually sad. All right, let's try this again. Bitch ass. I'm mad. Here's what we're gonna do. There we go. Bitch. All right, wait. All right, all right. I'm I'm just saying. All right, I'm I'm gonna get really really creative with this. We're gonna make sure that this works. Do they have it? Do they have it? I don't think that they have it. Do they not have the at sign? I was about to have my at in there. Maybe Nintendo was like, no, we're not going to include the at sign because then people can plug their Twitters, which I guess makes sense. There we go. Will this work? Yes! You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Hi. My name is Bitch Ass. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Bitch Ass fits you perfectly, you fucking dick. I'm offended. I'm actually offended. They just said bitch ass is a good name for me. That hurts my feelings. <laughs> that hurts my feelings, to be honest. You know what's actually really funny, though? When I was 12 years old and I just got this game for the first time and I was playing through it, I was really not a fan of the whole nickname thing. So I named my character Ryan and I named my nickname Ryan. <laughs> All right, and now I'm 19 years old and playing through this game again, and now I'm naming my nickname bitch ass. Welcome to my channel. I'm an adult. I pay taxes now. So anyways, out of these three, Chespin, Fennec, and Froakie, high key, Froakie's my favorite starter. All right, I'm just going to pick Froakie. It doesn't matter because we're going to wonder trade this man out anyways. All right. Now, with all that being said, though, I received a Froakie. He's not going to be put on the layout, though, because he's not actually a part of the team. All right. If you don't know how a wonder lock works, okay, you can't put him out on the team until he gets Wonder Traded out, and then that is my encounter. So this Froakie's not my encounter. It's whatever I receive on Wonder Trade is about to be my encounter. With that, all of that being said, I want to give a nickname to every single Pokemon that we receive throughout this game, throughout this playthrough. So then that way, if somebody actually manages to get this Pokemon over Wonder Trade, you'll know that it actually came from me and my playthrough. So we're going to name this Froakie every single encounter that we get throughout this entire series, we're going to name Yo Bet. There we go. Every single encounter. Every single encounter that we get throughout this playthrough, we're gonna nickname Yo Bet. So then that way, if you receive a Pokemon that is named Yo Bet over Wonder Trade, you'll know it came from me. The Pokemon X Wonderlock, King Orvish, my YouTube channel, my playthrough. Okay, my partner is Fennekin. Yeah, well. You call me bitch ass, and that hurts my feelings, okay? That is not a nickname, that is actually bullying. And as Vinny would say, bullying builds character. <laughs> God, dude, that is actually one of the funniest intro moments that my boy Vinny and Frank ever actually put together. It was part of their Diamond and Pearl Soul Link, which, by the way, it's a really good Soul Link. You guys should definitely go peep it out, because it's, it's probably my favorite Soul Link that the two of them have done yet. Either that, or their X and Y Soul Link is so damn good as well. And their Black and White one. Honestly, they're just really good content creators, and I love their content. And for the most part, I never miss an episode of the Soul Links that they put out because they are really, really 
really good. <laughs> all right, high key. They're really high quality. They're really funny. They're really good stuff. I really love my friends and all of the hard work and effort that they put into the content. And it's all such high quality and funny as hell and entertaining content. I just have really talented friends and I love my friends a lot, okay? And I also have really supportive friends. They're such nice people and they've done a lot for me. I don't know why I'm ranting about my friends, but you know what? They deserve it, okay? So shout out to all of them. Astro Mania Videos, Original 151, United Gamer, Decatur. That's basically all my friends. Bitch ass. Wait. Shout out to, by the way, Keyshawn. He's just a really good friend as well. As well as Scott. As well as Lee. They're just really, really good friends. And she just did a twirl. And I'm actually a little bit scared. That actually, that, 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 that was very intimidating. Stop twirling. You're not a fucking Beyblade. You are a Pokemon trainer, okay? All right. I think my DS clock is wrong. <laughs> I'm actually almost positive my DS clock is wrong because it is nighttime outside right now in Pokemon X and Y. But if you were to actually look outside, like in the out window, in the outside, in the it's not nighttime. All right, it's actually breaking the fourth wall. I was about to. I was about to pull out my phone. I realized, oh yeah, I threw it across the fucking room earlier in this specific video. Okay, hold up. It is currently 4.58 p.m. right now, okay? It is currently 4.58 p.m. right now. It is daytime. It is daytime. Kind of. I guess it's kind of hitting evening. All right, 5 p.m. is kind of pushing the boundaries of evening slash afternoon-ish, okay? But it's definitely not nighttime, all right? My 3DS clock is definitely wrong, and I'm not a fan of this, like, at all. Hey, I wasn't done watching my cute little Venikin yet. Yeah, no, because I beat his ass because you, you call me bitch ass. I don't like it. <laughs> You're amazing, bitch ass. Yo, if I actually had a quarter for every time I've heard of that one, let me tell you guys, I'd have a lot of quarters, okay? They used to call me bitch ass back in high school. That's not something to be proud of. Say hi to your mom for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, are we able to wonder trade? Are we actually able to wonder trade at this point of the game yet? Because if we can just get a wonder trade to Pokemon like right off the bat, that would be really lit. All right, so fun facts for you guys. I was having a lot, and I mean a lot of issues, trying to connect my 3DS to the internet before recording this episode. In case you guys want to know, in case you guys want to know, that, that's the error that I kept getting. That's the error that I kept getting. So my 3DS was actually having trouble connecting to the router that's in the house uh, that I live in. So what I decided to do instead was use my phone hotspot, my mobile hotspot, as a method for my 3DS to connect to the internet. So that way I can wonder trade out to actually do this project. A wonder lock literally requires internet. And I'm a little bit screwed if my 3DS doesn't want to connect to the internet. I already bought the GFX. I already made the intro, okay? I'm already halfway through recording episode one. And now you don't want to connect to the fucking internet. Who the fuck you think you want? I'm going to go grab my phone, actually. Hold up. I'm not even going to cut all this out. All right, we're just going to leave it all in. Because that's just how I'm going to run my YouTube channel, apparently. Okay? But here we go. So I just grabbed my phone. And I should be fine. Hold up. If I go to settings and then I go to mobile hotspot... Where's my little hotspot? <laughs> Here we go. Mobile hotspot. There we go. Cool. Okay. Now, hopefully, if I hit the Wi Fi button and is it okay to begin connecting to the internet? Okay. Hopefully, this will work. If this does not work, then I'm going to do a jump cut and then we're going to figure all this out so then I can actually wonder trade out this Froki. I'm actually hiking, not even sure if I can wonder trade the starter or if you need to have a second Pokemon on your team in order to wonder trade. Because if that's the case, then. I'm doing all this right now. I'm literally wasting time for nothing right now. I just got a notification on my phone though that I actually just connected. Uh, there's a device that connected to my phone as a personal hotspot. It got one connection. So hopefully this will work. God, I really hope that this works. My hair's a mess. The data necessary for internet connection has been obtained. Perfect. Cool. All right. It worked. No issues. I am happy. Successfully connected to the internet. God, okay. Crisis averted, you guys don't understand how much I was actually stressing over just the whole internet situation that I was having. It was just bad. So anyways, we're going to go to the Wonder Trade. By the way, you need two or more Pokemon in your party to trade. So yes, I literally just did all that for nothing. F fuck. I don't know. Uh, hold up. If we just... I think that there's a store over in this city somewhere. I don't 100% remember this game very well. As I said, I really haven't had a good sit-down playthrough of this game besides my sleep block in recent times besides when I was in junior high and this game first came out. 
But if I remember correctly, I think that there's a town in this city that can just sell me Pokeballs, like, right now. Like, right now. And then we can run out and we can catch our first... We sell only potions. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take it as in the Pokeballs are to the shop on the left side of the city. Good to know. But, you know, we can go to the route that's up north of here and we can get that static Pidgey encounter that we get at the beginning of the game. And then we can literally start off this game. There we go! Perfect. As of why this... They made shops in this game that only work for potions and Pokeballs. I don't know. If we buy 10 Pokeballs, though, we get a free Premier Ball. So there we go. Get your bang for the muck. Min maxing. Okay. We spent the money for 10 Pokeballs, but we bought 11. Because Premier Balls, fun facts, in Pokemon games actually are equal in skill level to uh, Pokeballs. Uh, you should go home first and... Okay, yeah, no, fuck. <laughs> Again, it's been so long since I've played through this game, I forgot that I had to go back and talk to my mom. All right? It's fine. I'm a Pokemon master. T-shirts available. Okay. But anyways, as I was saying, there's an encounter up to the north of that city over there, right? There's a static Pidgey that is your first encounter in that route. If we actually catch that Pidgey, we're going to get two Pokemon in our party, which means that we're going to be able to pull off doing a wonder trade. Okay. All right. That is what I want. I want to actually get some encounters because the fact that we're actually going to be able to do two wonder trades means that we're going to have two encounters to start off this whole Nuzlocke challenge rather than one and just one trading off my starter. So anyways, with all that being said, okay, cool. I, I think I just... Are we good, Mom? Can I just... Yeah, no. I, I obtained the town map. Okay, cool. Thanks, Mom. But like... Yes, I know how to work the town map. Can you just... I, I want to get encounters. <laughs> I want to get encounters. Cool. Perfect. Let's leave home. And that's probably going to make my mom really sad. But you know what? All boys must leave home someday. Row! Mom! Oh, fuck. This is really annoying. I just want to go get encounters. I'm, I'm done with the whole story thing, all right? I'm done with the whole story thing. I just want to go to the round. I just want to go get encounters. That's all I want. All I want is a place to call my own. A man who hunts of everyone who feels alone. Whoa! You know to keep your hopes up high and your head down low. Shout out to A Day to Remember. It's a really, really lit band. I'm not doing them a lot of justice, but you know what? It's still a really good band. My favorite song from them is Downfall of Us All. It's a really, really good song. So anyways, with all that being said, right there, we're going to be getting our static Pidgey encounter. Fun fact, this Pidgey right here has a 100% catch rate. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, but I'm almost positive this Pidgey has a 100% catch rate. Okay, I read it somewhere on the internet one time when I was 13 years old. All right? I think it's true. <laughs> I think it's true. However, every single Pokemon playthrough that I've seen of Pokemon X and Y, this Pidgey gets caught. First ball every single time. In randomizers of Pokemon X and Y, I've seen Kyurems get caught first thing in the route. So I think this works. All right? I think it is a 100% catch rate Pidgey right here, no matter what it is. A common sight in forests and woods, it flaps its wings at ground level to kick up blinding sand. So with all that being said, we get to nickname this Pidgey, yo bet, because like I said, literally at the beginning of this video when we got that Froakie, every single encounter that we're going to be getting in this game is going to be named yo bet. There we go, cool. Yo bet. <laughs> so also, if you're new to the channel and you don't know, yo bet's a little bit of a catchphrase here on the channel. I'll say it in response to a lot of things, to be honest. So now we have two Pokemon here on the squad. So here's how we're going to, like, handle level six, level three. Cool. This is how we're going to handle the Wonder Trays. All right, in an egg lock, if I were to swap out a Pokemon for an egg that one of you guys submitted in, then I would have rare candies and be able to rare candy it up. This is not an egg lock. Shocker. This is actually my first project that's not a Nuzlocke or a Wedlock or an egg lock. It's a... It's a Wonder Lock. Cool. <laughs> All right. Basically, what we're going to be doing for this uh, whole wonder aspect, okay? Because obviously, over wonder trade, I could potentially get level 100s or something, right? That would just not be fun. So, what I'm planning on doing in order to actually combat this, okay? I have a list of every single level of every gym leader in this game's highest level Pokemon. If a Pokemon that I receive over wonder trade is above the highest level Pokemon that the next gym leader has, then I have to re-wonder trade it, and I do not get that encounter. This is to prevent me getting level 100s and just sweep through this game, because high-key, that would not be fun at all. But 
The first gym leader's ace is level 12. So when we wonder trade out the Froki, it must be under level 12. So here we go. We're going to go blah, and we're going to go wonder trade. There we go. Cool. And then, of course, I got to save because you got to make sure that you save your data before you can wonder trade shit out. Okay, cool. Are you sure you want to wonder trade? Well, not really, but I mean, I did buy the GFX and make an intro animation, and I've been recording now for almost 40 minutes, so if my mind has not been made up on doing wonder trades game, then I would not be here right now, okay? So, searching for a trade partner. Something that I'm low-key a little bit nervous about, are people still wonder trading in X and Y in 2019? The answer is yes. All right, we just got matched up with Aaron. Shout out to Aaron, okay? You're literally about to be the very first wonder trade in this series, in this project. I feel like doing a wonder lock as well is just something really cool that helps me set like apart for the rest of the community. Oh, motherfucker. Fuck you, Aaron. This bitch sent me a Cascoon! A level 6 Cascoon! Well. <sighs> Add that man to the layout. Timestamp Ryan. Wop. Oh, God. The first encounter of this series is a fucking cascoon. Like, it, it'll become a dust ox, which isn't... It's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's actually pretty bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You know what? It is what it is. We're going to make the most out of this, okay? Something that I like to do in my Nuzlocke challenges, I'm not a huge fan of depositing Pokemon. I like the whole you play with the cards that you're dealt with aspect okay so you know what we have a cascoon sure but we're gonna make the most out of this cascoon we're gonna destroy everything in the callus region with this cascoon okay with that being said let's wonder trade out the pidgey okay the cascoon is completely legal it is under level 12 it is legal we're allowed to have this cascoon on the team we're allowed to have it a part of the squad we're allowed to not have to wonder trade it back because it's not dupes it's level two, it's below level 12 god though a cascoon yo dan you're from England. You're from the UK. That's really dope. But I swear to God, if you give me some trash-ass Pokemon, I'm gonna trash-ass you. Got him. Flabebe! I'll be honest. I've never used a Flabebe before. I'm not totally mad with this. I'm not totally mad with this. Is, is it good? I don't actually know if it's good or not. I don't actually know if this thing is good or not. If it's below level 12, though, then we are, in fact, allowed to use it on the team. And this man is level 14. Not gonna lie, that actually hurts my feelings a little bit. <laughs> that actually hurts my feelings a little bit. I was excited to have something that's not Cascoon. But you know what? That's what, you, that's what I signed up for. That is what I signed up for when I decided, hey, I'm going to do a wonder lock of 6th gen. Here we go, okay? Probably going to get a lot of people's trash throwaway mons in the series. I mean, that's literally the first encounter. We got a fucking... We got a cascoon. <laughs> we got a fucking cascoon. I'm so mad. All right, here we go. Mini Plier. I have a feeling that you're a fan of Markiplier, and you named your character Mini Plier. That's adorable. All right. Shout out to Markiplier, by the way. I can't say I watch a lot of his content, but I know he is a good content creator. All right, here we go. Inke. Okay, okay, fun facts. Fun facts, I actually used an Inke in my uh, playthrough when I was 12, my very first playthrough of Pokemon. Why? If you're below level 12, I won't be mad with an Inke. All right, it's better than a fucking Cascoon. <laughs> a Cascoon! I'm, why? Okay, all right, let's check this man out, Okay. All right, let's check out this Inke. Damn it! All right, all right, all right. I should have... 
I should have expected this out of putting a whole level limit on the wonder trades, right? That I'm probably just going to keep wonder trading. Hopefully you guys aren't too mad about potentially we might have episodes like this where we end up wonder trading over and over and over and over and over. That's just how wonder trading goes because I put this level limit on, but I still think it's a necessity because I don't want to get to level 100, you know? But with that being said, though, as the levels keep increasing throughout this game, as we keep making it farther, like, the second gym leader in this game, his ace is level 25. So, once we get to, like, him, it won't be super difficult to wonder trade anymore. It's just the fact that level 12 is a pretty low ceiling to have. All right? David! Your name is literally David! I love him. His name, his message is ciao, kumva. <laughs> I probably butchered that. I cannot speak Italian. But, okay, David. Please give me something good. Give me an Italian Charmander. I don't know. Okay. Okay. It's level 12. It works. <sighs> oh, God, dude. <laughs> Add the Zubat to the layout. Bob! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is our team. This is our team in this series. We have a Cascoon and a Zubat. Fuck me in the ass and call me asteroid. Okay, here's the thing. Like, sure, I'm not, like, okay. <laughs> the Cascoon's pretty bad. I'm not even gonna lie. At least Zubat will eventually become a Crobat. It's level 12, so it's probably gonna be one-shotting a lot of stuff early on, which is gonna be really nice. And it has Bite, which is actually a pretty good move. It's actually a pretty good move. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put Zubat up here in front and we're gonna make sure to just run through this game. We're just gonna plow through. We're gonna try to bite everything, right? Right? I think we'll be good if we can actually manage to do that. Oh, hi, bitch ass. Mother fuck you too, Serena. Are you about to teach us how to catch Pokemon? I literally just caught Pokemon. I Did you not see me wonder trading? I was right behind you. I was wonder trading for like 10 minutes, all right? Funnelby. You know, shout out to Score Bunny. What's up, my Score fam? Hi, Key. I'm on Team Score Bunny. Let me know down in the comments, by the way, what do you think of Pokemon Sword and Shield? It's crazy that I'm playing through Pokemon Sword and Shield during an X and Y, or Sword and Shield got announced while I'm playing through X and Y. There we go. Words are hard. All right. <laughs> Especially when you have to keep talking for like an hour straight, okay? This is literally an hour of power. This is literally an hour of power. Holy shit. But, okay, as I was saying, let me down, down in the comments, out of the three starters that we've seen so far, for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which one is your specifically favorite starter, okay? Score Bunny, Sobble, or Grookey, okay? Personally, I'm on Team Score Bunny, all right? Initially, I really liked Grookey, all right? He was my favorite when the trailer first dropped, but honestly, Score Bunny really just, he grew on me. I don't know what it is about Score Bunny, but I just really, really, really like Score Bunny, okay? Score Bunny speaks to me personally. Score Bunny just speaks to me personally. I feel like I'm literally the embodiment of a Score Bunny, okay? What's up, my Score fam? Welcome back to another Pokemon vlog! Let's play episode 72 of Voltor Flip Fucking Nuzlocke Soul Link Wonder Trade Randomizer. <sighs> we just got some Pokeballs, though. We really didn't need to waste our money down there on Pokeballs, all right? If we just got some free ones. But you know what? It was worth it, all right? It was a pretty decent financial investment because we got to actually wonder trade a little bit. And that was the fun aspect of this Nuzlocke is wonder trading, all right? That is what makes this series fun. With all that being said, I'm sure all of you guys already know the rules to a Nuzlocke by now. But I'll go over them. Why not? All right, just in case there's anybody who doesn't. You can only catch the first Pokemon in any route and or area. So because we already caught that Pidgey up there and it became the Zubat, that is our only encounter for uh, that route. We cannot get any other encounters in that route from here on out. But you know what? Honestly, Dustox and Crobat, like, are doable. Like, I'm not super pissed about having them on the squad. I know I just wasted literally the rest of my money and we are actually broke right now, but I almost feel like potions are a necessity. I feel like it's really smart to get potions, especially early on in a Pokemon playthrough, okay? If we actually manage to get into a tight predicament, 
I'm not trying to lose because I don't have medication. I learned that one the hard way when I did a very first Soul Link of Fire Red and Leaf Green with my boy Dylan, aka United Gamer. With all that being said, though, we're doing another Fire Red and Leaf Green Soul Link, literally a 2019 edition. All right, this is our second playthrough of Kanto as a Soul Link playthrough, and we're killing it so far, okay? Shout out to that series, all right? Uh, the episode that went up on the channel yesterday is actually the episode that I'm about to record with Dylan after I record this. I know that's so weird to say, all right, that the video that I'm recording after this is going up before what I'm recording right now, but it makes sense. It makes sense, all right? So I don't know what happened in the newest episode that you guys already saw, <laughs> which is just funny, but you know what? Shout out to the Fire Elite Green Soul Link. Let me know in the comments what you think of the previous episode that I still have no clue what happened in it yet. All right. With that being said, though, we have a Zigzagoon here on the screen. All right. This is Youngster Joey. He doesn't have a Rattata in this gen. Makes me mad. Makes me really mad. But he does have a Zigzagoon. All right. But we are rocking out here with Zubat, my boy. He has Bite. So honestly, I don't have anything to worry about in this playthrough. I don't have anything to worry about in this playthrough because he has Bite and I love that a lot. So... There we go. We're getting some experience. There's probably people who are watching right now who are wondering why I'm not using the Cascoon. First of all, Cascoon sucks. All right. Second of all, I'm going to wait until we get the experience share. And then when we get the experience share, then I'm going to uh, start training up the Cascoon as well. Once it becomes a Dust Dox, then I'm going to actually use the Dust Dox a little bit. All right. So with all that being said, we made it to the Santa Loon Forest. Fun facts. This forest right here is actually a 3D replica of Viridian Forest from Red, Blue, Yellow, um... Fire Red, Leaf Green, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Game Freak really loves that Kanto fan service, all right? I feel like something exciting will happen if I stay by you. Yeah, like we're going to get a Wild Encounter and Wonder Trade it off because we are in a brand new route and slash or area. We're in the Santa Loon Forest. We just got a potion. I'm going to actually make good use out of that potion because if we ever get into a sticky situation, we can actually heal up really well, especially early on because 20 hit points of damage is really good. Why of all encounters is it a Pikachu? All right, if this were a regular Nuzlocke, I'd be happy. I would be really happy because a Pikachu would be an awesome member to have on the team. But I actually am pretty nervous about having a Pikachu out here because, for one thing, Pikachu is super effective on my poison and flying type Zubat. That's what I was doing over here on my bottom screen was actually checking, is Zubat a flying type? Can I leave it in? But no, I cannot leave it in. So we're going to send out Cascoon. Cascoon is still two levels above the Pikachu, so that's not terribly scary. It is still is pretty scary, though. All right, so Cascoon should be able to live up some hits. But the only the other thing that I'm not a fan of with having a Pikachu for an encounter is the fact that I feel like it's I only have Harden. I should have checked the summary before doing this. All right, you know what? We're just gonna throw balls at a high highly health Pikachu. Honestly, okay, wait. My Zubat is three times this Pikachu's level. It is level twelve compared to its level four. Maybe it can take some thunder shocks. We can do some damage. Never mind. We caught it. I was not expecting that to happen. I was not expecting that to happen. Yo, bet! Yo, that's awesome. What I was about to say, my concern of running into a Pikachu for an encounter was that its catch rate was probably going to be more difficult to catch than if we ran into, like, a Wurmple or something. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm happy that we have a uh, Pikachu. Now, unfortunately, this Pikachu is not going to actually get to be a part of the squad. It's not going to be a part of the team because we're going to Wonder Trade this man out. However, someone's about to get a Pikachu in Wonder Trade, and that's actually freaking awesome. All right. I know if I ever received all Pikachu over Wonder Trade, I would be a very, very, very happy boy. I would be a very, very happy boy. But I don't get the Pikachu. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to Wonder Trade out this Pikachu. All right. Again! The Wonderlock rules must make sure that whatever I receive is level 12 or below because the highest level Pokemon that the first gym leader in this game has is level 12. So I don't want to have anything above that level limit or else it will just sweep through this game and I don't want that. All right? I don't want that. Okay. Daxis. You're from Italy. The last time that we did an Italian wonder trade, I got a Zubat out of it. God, I just love the Pikachu's cry in this game. It's so cute. It's so cute. He actually says his name instead of like a... <gasps> Fuck you! Mm. Please, please, please be over level 12. <laughs> 
please be over level 12. God, if it's... It's probably not. <gasps> it is! It is! Yo, bet! Yo, bet! It's a little 13! It's a, <laughs> That's a loophole and a half right there. That is a loophole and a half right there. I'm happy. That's the battle spot. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I do not trust myself to use the battle spot. I would die, especially with this team. I'm not smart enough with battling enough to make it a competitive thing. Not by any means. Not by any means. All right. So here we go. We're going to... Sorry. I'm just going to apologize to whoever I get paired up with over Wonder Trade right now. I did not mean to send you a Zigazoo. I meant to send you a Pikachu. I would be very ecstatic to have a Pikachu in my Wonder Trade. But a Zigzagoon, I'm, I'm just going to apologize for. All right. But anyways, all right. I don't think I actually have what it takes to do a battle spot. <laughs> battle right now. All right. I'm not a good Pokemon battler. Filling my decks. So let's fucking go. All right. Staven from Arizona. Please give me something nice. All right. I don't want anything crazy. Just something that's not a Zubat and Slash or Jaskoon. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> all right i deserve it i can't say i don't deserve it all right i'm that guy who literally tried to want to trade out a zigzagoon myself so you all right what comes around goes around i deserve this zigzagoon i can't even deny that i can't even deny that hopefully you're below level... <laughs> it's also level 13 i literally just got the exact same zigzagoon in return i mean that is the literal definition of what comes around goes around or what goes around comes around that's the phrase that's the thing nailed it all right let's try this again let's try this again all right i'm just gonna apologize at least this zigzagoon's japanese i guess that's kind of cool i guess that's kind of cool but anyways okay like I said, literally before that whole shenanigans happened, I could not do a battle spot video. I'm not very good at Pokemon. I probably should have said that at the beginning of this video. All right, for anybody who's new here, I'm not very good at Pokemon. I'm flat out acknowledge that, okay? There's probably going to be a lot of stupid decisions, a lot of stupid plays, a lot of dumb mistakes, and a lot of fun deaths. Yo, Chespin, please, Dawson. I'm very sorry, but you're not going to get a Chespin. But you are going to get a Japanese Zigzagoon. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dawson. This is not your chest spin that you want. I feel bad. <laughs> That's not a Zubat! Dawson, shout out to you, home dog. All right, all right. I'm sorry I didn't give you the chest spin that you wanted, but... I mean, if it's below level 12, I'll take it. If not, dupes and slash or level. It's too high of a level to actually use. All right, so let's actually check out this Golbat, all right? I'm gonna do it like within the Wonder Trade PC system in case it actually needs to get traded out again. Uh, because most likely it will. Yeah, level 26. This thing's way too high to have on the squad right now because like I said before, the gym leader's eyes level Pokemon is 12. Any Wonder Trade encounter that we receive right now must be under level 12. Also, my boy Dylan, AKA Night Gamer is texting me right now, but I'm not gonna respond to him because I'm recording a video right now. I'm recording a powerful episode of the Pokemon X Wonderlock. I like how this sounds. Yo, Jason! Please give me something powerful. Shout out to Jason Plays Pokemon. He's a really cool guy. I've talked to him quite a bit. He's a really nice person here on the YouTube community. And the Poketober community is a nice guy. All right? I swear to God, if this is a Zigzagoon, I'm going to flip shit. If this is a Zigzagoon, I'm going to flip shit. That is that is objectively worse than a Zigzagoon. I'm literally just getting trash. I am literally just getting trash. In this playthrough, I have a Cascoon, a Zubat, and a Wheel. That is a literal trash, okay? Like, a Crobat will be nice to get in the future. I cannot deny that. I'm not super pissed. And plus, the Zubat's level 12, so I'm actually able to actually fight things, you know? And there's, there's Weedle's level 2. All right, well. Timestamp Orion. Weedle. Uh, blop. All right, there we go. We got a Weedle. So, that's the team, alright? We're not gonna be getting any more encounters in this episode because, honestly, we're just gonna kind of... We're just gonna make our way downtown. Walking fast and eating ass. This bitch just called me a bitch ass as she walked through the grass and she found me the thing that is a paralyzed heel. That's actually gonna be kind of useful. Not even gonna lie, alright? In case we ever get into any sort of situation that we get paralyzed, we can actually prevent that with the paralyzed heal. That's why it's called a paralyzed heal, because it heals paralysis. With that being said, 
Yeah, no, no, no. I was about to be like, should I maybe try putting another Pokemon up in front because we're about to battle that trainer, but we can just kind of wrap our way around and maybe we don't need to battle him. I just really want the experience share. What point in this game do you get the experience share? If someone in the comments could let me know, that'd be really helpful. Let me know when do we get the experience share because I would love to have that on so that way we can start training up the Cascoon as well as the Weedle. Because if we get a Dustox, then I won't be mad with that Cascoon on the team. The Weedle I'm pretty pissed about. This is also Gen 6, so we can't even get a Mega Beedrill. We can't even get a Mega Beedrill out of it. That Weedle is actually just sad. It's just really sad that I just have a Weedle on the team. But you know what? That's what I signed up for by doing a Wonderlock, all right? Sending out a Pikachu, that's fine. Bite will probably one-shot you, I'm not even gonna lie. But that's what I signed up for with doing this Wonderlock, okay? When I'm playing with the cards that I'm dealt with, it's gonna be a very interesting playthrough because since Wonderlocks aren't really a thing anymore on YouTube, like people haven't done them in years, I feel like I might be like the first person doing one in 2019, which is really cool. Like I was saying, while we were actually Wonder Trading out the Froakie, uh, it, I think it's really cool that we're doing a Wonder Lock now and kind of bringing back a little bit of an older lock type. Um, like, not a lot of people have done them in a while, so I feel like it's just really cool. It's just something different. It'll help us stand out in the community, and not even that. It'll help us stand out, and we're going to just have really, really, really cool. I just love the intro song, all right? The intro song's helping me stand out as well. So, with that being said, though, we'll just beat that trainer's ass, no problems. But, as I was just saying before, yo, wait, hold up, there's a Pokeball. Potion. Hell yeah. But... The fact that we're doing a Wonderlock is really cool. But shit, what was I about to say besides that? It's 2019. X and Y have been out for six years now. I feel like Wonder Trade is not necessarily dead, because clearly we're still getting Wonder Trades. We're still getting encounters in this playthrough. Like, I, I, it's still possible to do this series. And especially after the viewers, you guys can start submitting in Pokemon through Wonder Trade to actually bring into this project, and you can actually just provide. It's going to be really cool. I'm excited. But we're probably going to be getting a lot of trash. A lot of Route 1 trash. Which is going to make this a very difficult playthrough. And I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. It's going to be a pretty difficult, pretty challenging playthrough. I literally have a Cascoon Zubat in a wheel. <laughs> All right. This is actually going to be somewhat difficult. I'm excited about this. I am excited about this playthrough. Hopefully you guys are really excited about this playthrough as well. Hopefully you guys are really excited about this playthrough as well. Because I'm just... Gosh. Wait, Route 3. This is a new route as well. What are you gonna do? Yo, shout out to Big Mouth. I've actually, I just recently watched that show and finished it the other day. It is really, really, really funny. I highly recommend that show. It's a really funny show. Does it, is it me or does it look like the sky? There's a lot of clouds. Like it's like thunderstorming or lightninging or storming, whatever. I don't know if that's me or not. I don't know. I think that's a little crazy though. Like just, there's a lot of clouds going on. I don't know. It looks like we're in a storm. It doesn't look like nighttime. It looks like we're in a storm. That's actually wild. I'm going to go to St. Loom City's gym and challenge the gym leader. You see, Pokemon trainers find out how good they really are by challenging the leaders in Pokemon gyms. Wow, I sure am glad that I'm learning all this for the very first time ever because I am a brand new Pokemon trainer and barking on my world of Pokemon with my Zubat, Cascoon, and Weedle Pokemon that you literally can't get at this point of the game. Okay, cool. You don't need to teach me shit. I already know how to wonder trade, man. I literally already know how to wonder trade. I'm a little bit offended. <laughs> what are you gonna do? That's a Big Mouth reference. Seriously, if there's anybody who's watched Big Mouth, it's a show on Netflix, by the way. Let me know down in the comments. It's so funny. I highly recommend it. Like, the humor is definitely, like, it's out there. I've never been a huge fan of shows like Family Guy or American Dad or Simpsons or anything like that or Cleveland Show. I honestly think that type of humor is a little annoying. Big Mouth is in that wheelhouse but what i really like about big mouth is that it's writing is really creative it's not just saying ah this is a butt joke you know it's actually like it's personifying about to be i'm about to say an awkward word it's personifying puberty in a really really well written and accurate way and it's a really really cool series uh, i just i highly recommend it if you're ever interested in something like that um or if just interested in some kind of show that you want to get into recommended by a youtuber named king gorfish all right i definitely recommend big mouth because it's just it's so funny 
it's really, really funny, and the plot, I actually got a little bit invested into it, not even gonna lie. Another Netflix show that I also got invested into is Fuller House. I've been watching that with my girlfriend, Skylar, every single time that we're together. We always watch an episode of Fuller House while she, we're together. We're about to start season four, which is the final season of the series, all right? And season three ends on a cliffhanger, and I'm like, no. Skylar, why? Why can't we just watch one more episode? And she's like, I want to go to bed because my girlfriend has the sleep schedule of a grandma. She goes to bed at 8 p.m. every single night. But shout out to Skylar. She's a really cool person. But anyways, Big Mouth, Fuller House. Those are my two Netflix shows. I already finished Big Mouth, but Fuller House I recommend as well <laughs> if you ever want to get into that. Um, but yeah, no, Big Mouth is a very short series. It's 12 episode seasons and there's only two seasons. So, uh, and then there's also a Valentine's Day special. I've watched all of them. So it's a very short series. You can literally binge it. You can literally binge it and it's a really cool show. The episodes are like 20 minutes each. It's, I definitely recommend it. Anyways, my dudes. All right, we did it. We recorded an hour of power today. That is ridiculous. That's actually wild to think about. We did an hour of power. We fucking did it. What are you gonna do? Shout out to Big Mouth. <laughs> All right, so with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you made it all the way through, comment down below. I'm really hungry, and I'm going to go downstairs and eat leftovers because that's what I'm going to do after this recording session. Holy crap, my stomach hurts. I actually am pretty hungry right now. But like I just said, thank you so much for supporting me and the channel and the content. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know every YouTuber under the sun ends off their videos by saying thank you for watching, but I do really genuinely want to convey thank you so much because the fact that you guys watch the content is the reason why I get to do it for my job. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And a million times, thank you so much. Your support is undoubtedly the best on YouTube. I, I'm in love with the community that we have, our whole friend group and all of the audience that we have. They're very supportive people and it's just from the bottom of my heart, I cannot stress enough your support, whether you donate, uh, super chat, or even just watch, I will be just grateful for. So, so grateful. So anyways, thank you all. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Even though this is, yes, an hour of power, I don't want to take up any more of your time because this is a very long video, I know. So I'll see you all tomorrow for episode two of the Book of My Next Wonderlog. We're going to go get an encounter over at Route 3, maybe even take on the gym. I don't know. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for supporting the brand new series. I'm so excited because I'm, I am having fun playing the game so far and I can't wait to get more into it. So thank you all so much. I can't, I've said that so many times. Fuck, I'm sorry I sound like a broken record. And I'll see you all for tomorrow's episode of the Pokemon X Wonderlock. <laughs> peace, peace, guys. Love y'all. Who would have guessed a family crest and suddenly spy tattooed on her thigh and son of a gun is just like the one on me. Tell me, how was I supposed to know that we were both related? Because right now, I, if it was my cousin, we never would.